Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a clean and organize my new house with me video. If you are looking for cleaning motivation or just like motivation to get anything done around your house, this video is going to help you get going. And if you're new here, welcome. My name is Amanda and I share videos on cleaning and life motivation. Basically just videos to help you get going and get stuff done. Before I get started with the cleaning in the video, I wanted to show you guys a little sportswear haul. I've got some super cute pieces and I just wanted to share them with you guys. All of my pieces are from Yvette Sportswear. The leggings, you guys, are so soft and the cute stirrups on them were like adorable. I'm gonna try all of these on for you guys. These tank tops are the softest, flowiest, comfiest tops ever. This sports bra right here is so adorable. The back has some fantastic detailing, this cute little zipper in the front. I'm gonna try that on for you guys as well. Then I have this sports bra here, such a pretty color, and the back is just so fantastic as well. And these are all super like supportive and comfortable and so cute looking. This green sports bra is the Echo Cutout Racerback Long Line Padded Yoga Bra, and it is so super cute. I can't even tell you how much I love the fit of their sports bras. Like every one that I tried on was bang on, perfect fit. This one is the Limitless V-neck Crossback Padded Running Bra. It is a such like such a pretty orange red color. I just love it. Again, super cute and flattering. I love the lines on it. This one is the Limitless Zip Front Mesh Padded Running Bra. The zipper on here is so cute, such a cute little detail. Fabric is fantastic. It is awesome. Like the back is so cute, the little mesh design. Love this one as well. And you guys, their leggings are buttery soft. These ones are the Shift High Waisted Stirrup Yoga Leggings. I just love the cute little stirrup feature. It is so pretty, so flattering. The fabric, like I said, buttery soft. What I really love about it is it is not like bally. It does not attract a whole bunch of hair and lint on them. Super smooth and super soft. I can't tell you guys how much I love the tank tops. They are soft, flowy, just super comfortable and cute. They come in a three pack and they have so many different colors. I will have all of those linked down below for you guys in the description box. All right guys, so it is early in the morning before anybody else in the house is awake besides Jeff because he's already gone to work. Um, I made myself a cup of coffee. I'm sitting at the computer. I've got some work emails to answer, some videos to edit. So I just take a little bit of time to do that before I head downstairs and start making lunches and whatnot. I've got a little bit of a mess in the kitchen because let's face it, we're a busy, busy family and as much as I want to make sure the kitchen is clean before I go to bed, it does not always happen. I'm exhausted by the end of the day and if there's a few items left out in the kitchen, I will just take care of it in the morning, which is, which is exactly what I'm doing right now. Um, the mornings that I do have the kitchen clean, obviously I feel like super great coming downstairs, but it is what it is. So I just cleaned off the island, sprayed it down. I'm going to wipe it before I start making the lunches. Alright, so I've got the island all cleaned off. I've got the kids' lunch kits out. I can't stand making lunches. I'm always struggling to try to get new ideas of what to put in their lunches. I feel like they are getting really sick of sandwiches. I've tried like pasta salads, leftovers, um, sandwiches, and whatnot, but 
I'm always running out of ideas. So if you guys have any good ideas, let me know in the comments below. I did pick up these little juice containers from Amazon. The kids have been seeing them all over TikTok, so they were so excited when they saw these. And I was more than happy to buy them because I'm sick and tired of buying juice boxes. They are so expensive these days. So I feel like these are reusable. They can't go in the dishwasher, by the way. I learned my lesson on that one. Um, but yeah, I just buy a jug of juice and then fill them up. You don't even really need that little funnel, but it's handy. And I just filled them up and threw these juices into their lunch kits. What are your kids favorite healthy snacks for their lunches? I've been trying to make sure I pack decently healthy lunches because like I've mentioned a million times before, my kids play hockey. They are heavily involved in hockey, so they are so active and I try to make sure that they are eating right because they need the energy and the fuel to keep them going throughout the day. And then lots of times they'll have a game in the evening, sometimes as late as 9 p.m. So we're not getting home till like 11 p.m. and they've spent all of their energy. So trying to make sure that they are fed healthy food is top priority, even though, you know, sometimes they will have a piece of junk food here and there. But um, if I have meals prepared, I find that it's just a lot easier. So I try to make sure they have lots of like fruit and protein and good healthy stuff in their lunches. So this is my school drop-off outfit, nothing too flattering, pajama pants and an oversized hoodie. I'm so happy I've got that Yvette sportswear because that's going to be so much cuter. Okay guys, so I was not even going to film this because a bomb totally has gone off in here. It's like embarrassing. Um, this is all mostly clean clothes and I pretty much say that to you guys all the time. Um, it's always like clean clothes. and. We're just <laughs> overwhelmed with our schedule and everything we got going on. This right here is dirty clothes. So everything else is clean, even that right there. It just, that laundry basket was overflowing. My desk is, oh my God, that's just a hot mess. We don't have any, like our office is not set up here yet in the new house, so um i've been putting stuff on the desk and it wow like it's a huge mess so anyways i just wanted to kind of give you a heads up of what i'm working on today this bedroom has to get straightened up and i feel like i just had this room like absolutely perfect all right so i just had a shower i've got my hair half up half down i find that it dries a lot quicker that way because i have super thick hair so i just kind of separated it a little bit so i can let the air get in there and dry out the middle areas i'm wearing my comfy yvette leggings they are so so comfortable and i just threw a t-shirt on because it's still the morning and it's chilly in the house so i did not feel like wearing a tank top because I was a little bit colder in the shoulders. We still are way up north over here, so there's still snow outside, unfortunately. All right, so if you have a ton of laundry to fold, now is the time to get it done. I'm going to let the music play for a minute or two because I've got so much laundry to fold on this bed here and some more on the floor that needs to be picked up and moved onto the bed. So I'm just going to tackle that get it out of the way because it's been something I've needed to do for a few days but we've been busy in and out of the house and now I finally have a little bit of time so I just want to get that done.
we are still nowhere near getting our master closet done. There are still so many other things that need to be done, but since Jeff is working full time again, it's just kind of slow moving around here before we get these house projects done. So we have that rack there that he has been using to hang basically like his things that he wears often. The rest of the stuff we've been keeping like in the master closet in boxes still, but I want to order a nicer version of that rack for myself because they're actually really affordable on Amazon and I kind of like I see people doing capsule wardrobes and using those so I thought it'd be fun to do that but I had to take all that down because his stuff was falling apart. We try to rise from the I took a few minutes to straighten my hair because it was finally dry and now I'm back at the laundry folding. Okay, so there's so much laundry to be done and folded on this day that it is already the evening. I picked up the kids from school, we had dinner, and now it's pretty much bedtime. So I have to like pause what we're doing with the cleaning and the organizing the clothes. I'm moving everything aside until the morning because it is time to get ready for bed. And I've got a little bit of editing and work to do. So I'm just gonna jump in bed, watch a show and do that. Here we are, we are back at it again. It is the next morning. I'm just powering through, still working on the laundry, still working on folding. I cannot wait to get this out of the way because I just wanna enjoy my bedroom. It is the worst when you walk into your room and you've got stuff all over the place. So I'm super excited just to get this out of the way. guys I just finished making dinner and feeding everybody I took the towels out of the dryer so those need to be folded um, there's still some more cleaning to do in here but tomorrow is going to be a big day for cleaning I'm going to focus on the upstairs because I find that I'm always working in the kitchen I just have to like set the kitchen aside and ignore it for a little while and get the upstairs done then tomorrow will be a new day I will continue that in this video and I'll give you guys a bunch more cleaning motivation before I pack up for the night I just wanted to throw this sheet set in the washing machine on a speed wash 
These are Cohen's sheets. Everybody in the house is basically getting new bedding because we're just like overdue for some new sheets and blankets and stuff like that. So he really needed a new sheet set. So I'm just going to throw this in on a quick speed wash. It's brand new and sometimes it's just nice to get those washed so you don't have that factory smell on them and just get all the, you know, factory kind of dirt and smelliness off of there so I just threw in some nice scented beads I use the lavender ones it just makes it smell so nice and clean and fresh so that'll be nice for him to have nice and clean sheets in his room on his bed for tonight I'm just going to power through there was some towels left in the dryer and when I switched the laundry over I took them out and I just could not leave it so I just wanted to get that folded and put away before I turn in for the night Welcome to my partially finished bathroom. This lovely orange is our um, master shower, our steam shower, which is not tiled yet. So I went to Home Depot yesterday to check out the tiles, changed my mind on what I was going to use for the base of the shower. Anyways, um, that needs to be figured out like today or tomorrow. Lots to do today. Have to finish cleaning the kitchen, finish filming this video, and go get the kids from school. There's just like so many things on my plate every day and some days I'm just like, there's all these thoughts floating around and I just need like a gigantic like whiteboard in my kitchen where I can write down all my thoughts because there's just a lot going on and I'm sure a lot of you guys like as moms, especially like if you're a mom, like a sports mom or even just like a mom with kids with lots of extracurricular activities, it's crazy and it's busy and I feel like I need to go to the grocery store again. I don't know what we're eating for dinner. Like I'm just super disorganized and I feel like that all the time. Just running around like a chicken with my head cut off. So <clears throat> first things first, I'm just going to do my makeup before I head down to the kitchen to finish cleaning and then hopefully, hopefully check off all the things on my to-do list and get done as much as I can today. So I'm gonna get ready. So next up, I'm going to clear off this bed, make my bed, throw in a load of laundry, and start getting stuff off the floor. Also, I have brand new sheets coming, so that's exciting, but I don't want to put them on my bed until I'm done painting my bed. So I do want to stop at the paint store. I don't know if I'll get it done in this video. I'm going to be picking up some paint and I'm going to DIY redo the bed. I will film that for you guys. So that will be in my like bedroom finishing video coming up. It'll probably be in the next few weeks. Um, I'm hoping to paint the bed next week, but by the time I get 
Um, there's some lighting that needs to go in here still and bed painted, maybe like a plant in the corner. I have a dead space where Jeff's clothing is hanging right now. That's not going to be staying there. That's going to go in our closet. That's just temporary. So I need to find something that goes there, maybe a plant or something like that. Um, I need to redo that night table. So this whole bedroom is going to be a project in itself. of laundry in and then I don't even know what I'm doing next I have so many things to do so load of laundry in and then I've got a whole bunch of hangers here on the floor so I'm going to pick up those hangers get those put in the closets and I think get everything else off this floor and vacuum Okay guys, so I want to redo the dresser along with the bed and the night tables. Um, this looks terrible. <laughs> like we got this at uh, Pier 1 Imports, I don't know, I'd say maybe seven or eight years ago. The quality is still fantastic, but um, it's just, it looks all banged up. We have a stain here from one of the kids. They put down some slime and it just like, totally discolored it and it just looks a lot yellower than it did when we first bought it so um, I'm going to be selecting a color I also will be ordering some knobs um, I don't know which kind yet I'm gonna go on Amazon and hunt you can hear the treadmill going downstairs <laughs> one of the boys is on the treadmill so that's what that sound is but anyways I'm gonna go ahead and just wipe this down for now and then go ahead and get this floor a vacuum because it's quite dirty All right, so I'm just putting away my Yvette clothes that I had out for my clothing haul that I filmed. Now I'm just heading into the master bathroom. So the steam shower area over there needs to be cleaned out. Normally, like Jeff does all this stuff, but he's been so busy at work and I just wanna get the space ready for tiling. So I just offered to go ahead and clean that out for him. That way, when he does have free time, he can just get right to the important stuff, which is using his talents to tile this the steam shower which i'm so excited for so i'm just basically cleaning out all the stuff there's like empty boxes a few like random tools and just leftover building supplies so that's all getting taken out and taken out to the garage Now here's another project that has been 
sitting here waiting for me to finish. I've got so many like just receipts and bills and different like paperwork and stuff like that that needs to be sorted. So I took a few minutes, sorted everything, put everything on the bed into different piles, one for like household bills, one for receipts, one for household receipts, and you know, basically just sorted that. Um, I did run out of those um, folders, the file folders. So I need to get a few more of those. That way I can keep everything filed properly. But for now I have like a couple of office boxes. So that's where I stored all of the receipts until we get our office up and running. So I want to, it's so hard for you guys to see, <laughs> really hard for you guys to see. Okay, maybe a little bit right here. Um, I want to clean the windows. They are all dirty from construction. There's like some silicone here, dust everywhere. So I've been Googling online like how to professionally clean windows because I want to get these all nice and clean. The trim still needs another coat of paint. These nail holes still have to be filled. So I'm gonna to try to tackle that. See right here. And then it needs another coat of paint. So I wanna get these windows clean. If you guys have any um, advice on what products to use, let me know. Otherwise I'll be Googling and searching on YouTube how to professionally clean your windows. This triple XL large cotton rope storage basket has been so handy for so many different things. I've been using it so much for laundry lately. It can just hold so much and it is flexible and I can just basically grab the handles and take it to the laundry room. I've used it for blankets. I've used it to throw like the boys like toys and hockey stuff and whatever just to kind of haul it up and down the stairs so super versatile and just like awesome to have around the house for many different uses so I'm just using it right now to basically fold the laundry put it into the basket and then I will take the basket and carry it over to the boys rooms and basically distribute their laundry into each of their rooms the basket is from Good Pick, and I will link it down below in the description box for you guys. You can pick one up from Amazon or from their website. All right, I'm just straightening up the bed, just getting all the creases out. Now I'm just brushing my teeth. I've got my backpack ready to go because I have to head out and run a few errands. So now that I've gotten the bedroom pretty clean thankfully it took like three or four days charlotte is such a funny cat she loves it when the bed is made and it's clean so she's hanging out in my bedroom now this is later on in the day cohen's hockey team actually came over to get their pictures done on our outdoor rink because the ice was double booked so got all the kids out there getting their pictures done i've got a mess in the kitchen i'm dealing with i've got to make dinner so Lots on the go for the rest of the day here. So for dinner, I came up with something fairly quick and easy. I just picked up a couple of baguettes, a pre-made salad. That salad was actually a pretty decent price. It was $8 for this big container, which was stuffed full of good salad. I got this artichoke and an Asiago cheese. I think it's like a ravioli. Um... That ended up being super, super yummy. So everything was really easy to prepare. I actually like that pasta with just a little bit of butter on it, but I know the kids love Alfredo, so I picked up a jar of Alfredo sauce. So it wasn't exactly a made from scratch meal, but it wasn't the worst either. So I just had to like pick something that was going to be quick and easy to make since I spent so much time cleaning the master bedroom and a little bit of the kids rooms in the past couple of days like i said i had to basically take my attention and like put it all into getting that done so now that that is done i have a little bit more time to spend in the downstairs and in the kitchen areas So 
So now that the kids are fed, everybody's cleared out of the kitchen. I just wanted to get the floor vacuumed all under the kitchen island because there's a bunch of like crumbs and stuff like that from everybody eating and just making a mess the past couple of days. So I'm just going to run the vacuum through here. And like I said, this vac, I mentioned in I think my previous videos, this vacuum washes and vacuums at the same time. So that was really quick and easy. But now I've got a whole bunch of stuff I've placed on the island. I had to go pick up from the post office a whole bunch of PR stuff that came in for my YouTube channel. So lots of stuff that I can share with you guys over the next few weeks, which I'm super excited about. So I'm just working away at trying to get this kitchen cleaned up for the rest of the evening. So if you've noticed in my past few videos that I've been doing, basically when it's like golden hour, just before the sun is starting to set, we get that really golden light coming into the kitchen. It gets really tricky like for the lighting for filming videos. So that's why you're seeing that warm glow, which is really pretty in the evenings. I love it actually when I'm cleaning the kitchen and I've got that sun coming in but it's not like that harsh sun it's just like a warm glow so that's what we have going on coming through those windows right now I still had some tags on the bar stools here that I hadn't taken off and I totally forgot about them because they were like right underneath so I just noticed those and clipped those off and here I'm just washing a bunch of those juice containers that I showed you earlier in the video that I got from Amazon for the kids lunches and it basically you can use them for anything like smoothie making um, juice making Anyways, I will link those down below in the description box for you guys because these are super handy and like they're just the perfect size also to throw into lunches or into your bag or whatever. And so I mentioned this earlier in the video, these are hand wash only. Do not throw them in the dishwasher because they will misshape and melt, which is what I did. Actually, like my dad was helping clean up the kitchen, so he threw a few of them in there and I saw them in there and I thought to myself, I wonder if these can go in the dishwasher and I was like oh well whatever I guess we'll find out so a few of them melted and I ordered a few more because I really do like them and what else is new I am making a couple of grilled cheese sandwiches we just got home from a hockey game and of course they are hungry so make a couple of sandwiches before we head off to bed and that is it for today's video you guys i hope you enjoyed it and got a ton of cleaning motivation please make sure you guys give it a thumbs up leave a comment down below hit that little notification bell so you guys don't miss any of my future videos and i will see you guys next time in the next video bye